So I've been in search of an external monitor for my Sony a6300 and I came across the Andy Cine a6 4K monitor and uh, decided to pick it up and I've been using it for a few weeks now and I want to give you my review on it. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey, this is Tech Jungle. Here you can find news, reviews, and up-to-date information on some awesome technology existing in our world today. And one piece of awesome technology is the Andy Cine a6 4K monitor. Now, I was looking for something that was lightweight, portable, and that can directly attach to my Sony a6300. And uh, this is a perfect fit right here. So for under $200, what you get out of the box is a 5.7 inch 1080p monitor that accepts 4K signal. You also get a tilt arm that allows you to rotate the screen itself 180 degrees so you can either be behind the camera or in front of the camera and still see an image, which if you know, if you have a Sony a6300, a6500, the screen on those cameras, they don't tilt. Uh, at least they don't tilt outwards to where you could actually see yourself from in front of the camera. So having a monitor that's lightweight, that doesn't take up a lot of space and fits right on top of the camera uh, is really excellent, especially for under $200. So out of the box, you get the screen, you get a sunshade, you get a tilt arm. You also get two cables. You get an HDMI to micro HDMI and an HDMI to mini HDMI. So you have two cables out of the box. So you're ready to hook up your monitor and start uh, enjoying it. Now the monitor itself is powered in two ways, um, either with a DC 12 volt connector or an NPF970 battery and you can find a lot of these batteries on Amazon. I'll, I'll put a link for a couple batteries um, below. Uh, the one I use is called RAV Power and it's like under 30 bucks. You get two batteries and you get a charger so you're never without uh, juice for this monitor. An additional excellent feature is that there is a 8 volt DC out and what that can do is that allows you to if you have a dummy battery you can connect the monitor directly into your camera and now your monitor is powering your camera with that uh, that big NPF 970 battery and this has a couple of benefits one you're not constantly burning through camera batteries and two it decreases the likelihood of your camera overheating because that dummy battery uh, doesn't give off a lot of heat and so those are two excellent benefits of being able to externally power your monitor and power the camera at the same time using just one battery. Now I'm not going to go over all the features on this monitor, but I will go over a couple that I use. Uh, one benefit of this monitor is you get four function keys and this allows you to set customized programs or customized shortcuts um, on the monitor itself so you're not having to dig through the menu system every time you need something. So the first function I use is flip. So it allows me to flip the image when I'm rotating the monitor 180 degrees and either using it as a vlogging style setup or just behind the camera. And so you have a quick flip button assigned and allows you to flip the image so that you're not constantly having to dig through the menu system. The second function is the nine grid. So it sets up the image almost like a rule of thirds grid. Uh, so it allows me to center my image or you know have it off center but it's still in that rule of thirds and so it's a quick uh, tap of the button and I have my my grid up on display the third button I have assigned to a center marker so it's just a crosshair right in the middle of the display if I don't want to have the grid turned on this is a secondary option and uh, it works and the last button I have assigned is for zoom so it allows me to just zoom in on the image make sure everything is in focus and crystal clear and there's about a dozen of these functions that you can assign to these four shortcut buttons and it really just speeds up your workflow process and so for under 180 dollars you're getting a well-constructed lightweight monitor that attaches to your camera and uh, really increases the functionality in your workflow and uh, i really think that this is a great pickup uh, for anyone who's out there who wants to vlog or who wants to just view their content in larger format uh, this monitor here is way better than the monitor on my a6300 and uh, I'm sure it's the same way for the a6500 as well so I'll have this linked in the description below if you want to go ahead and take a look at it again if you have a camera that doesn't have a swivel arm that swings out and uh, you're like me and you have a Sony a6300 or a6500 even the a7 III uh, attaching a monitor like this really does help you out uh, if you want to be in front of the camera instead of just behind it and you also get a larger screen and it's all for under 180 bucks so I definitely recommend this 
And uh, if you're looking to pick it up, again, links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have one and you've enjoyed it or you're thinking about picking one up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. This is Tech Jungle. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.